Mm. This is sad. Really. Uh, Ronnie Turner has reportedly died at 62 years old, y'all. And he's an actor. Y'all know Ronnie Turner, whose parents, of course, is Tina and Ike Turner. Uh, he passed away after paramedics were called to his San Fernando, Fernando Valley home on Thursday. Um, it is not clear what medical condition he was suffering from, but the person that made the call reportedly said that he was having trouble breathing outside of their home and then later stopped breathing at all. He was reported dead on the scene. Wow. Tina Turner's children. Y'all know she lost another one, Craig. What was a few a couple years ago? Um Wow. And you know she's still recouping, well, you know, dealing with her stroke that she had. Uh it's not it's reported that he's been he was previously diagnosed with cancer. So I don't know how true that is, so um that's that's just something that's out there. Uh but this is important that a lot of people know because a lot of people when they saw that embellished what's love gotta do with it. You know, it almost made Tina seem like a choir girl. And I don't want to, you know, disparage her in any way. But I'm glad this is one article that I know touched on this. She had one son when she was just 18 and another one during her relationship with Ike. While married to Ike, she also adopted his two sons from past relationship and cared for them even after the split. In 1996, she started a relationship with German music executive Erwin Bach. Uh, the two tied the knot over 20 years ago. Uh, her son's uh, father, Ike, died in 2007 at age 76. Uh, so, but what a lot of people thought that Tina, you know, was. Oh, like I said, a virgin. Um, I just warned her she didn't have a relationship or a man or anything before she met I. Um, if I'm not mistaken, her baby is with the saxophone player. Uh, what was I Turner's bad name? Damn, I can't. <laughs> Getting old ain't for punks, y'all. I tell you. Uh, but Ike and um. Whatever his group was, you know, Rockin' 88, that one. Well, the the Craig's father, I believe, is a band member from that group. Tina was going with one of the band members of the group as well. Before her and Ike, you know, kicked it off. Just a little tip on some little show business information. Anyway, rest in peace, oh Ronnie. It's a young man. And I wish Tina well as well. Yeah, see, Craig Raymond Turner. That was her son, and, and, and his father was Raymond Hill, who played sax. And Ike Turner's band, The Kings of Rhythm. There you go. There you go. The Kings of Rhythm. And Craig died by suicide at age 59. His mother said that I think Craig was lonely. That's what I think. Really got him more than anything else. She said at the time, I have pictures all around of him smiling. I think I'm sensing that he's in a good place. I really do. The singer held a ceremony to scatter her late son's ashes when it was revealed in a tweet. She said, oh, my saddest moment as a mother. I said, final goodbye to my son. 
when I gather with family and friends to scatter his ashes off the coast of California. He was 59 when he died so tragically, but he would always be my baby. And then we had Ronnie Rennell Turner. Because uh, both of these are Ike boys. I mean, no, I mean, this is Ike's boy. And the other two, which is still alive, was by uh, another singer. So she gave birth to Ronnie, Ron Rennell, in 1960. Hmm. So, Ronnie's half-brother, Ike Jr., revealed that he was married to singer Afita Turner in an interview in 2018. His half-brother said he spoke to Ronnie periodically. Hmm. And you, got, you know, Ike Turner actually had six kids. But Tony, uh, Tina only adopted two of his sons. And those were the ones um, that he had with L uh, Lorraine Taylor. His oldest son, Ike Jr., was born in 58 um, and followed his uh, dad and adopted his mom's footsteps in the music industry. And then it was Michael. Those were the two that were Lorraine's boys and Tina raised them. But Tina's boys by Ike, both of them, I mean, Craig and the one by Ike, Ronnie, has passed away. My condolences to the family. 